Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today let us see the part two of the same topic. So here we have already done few questions from the innings. So now we'll start with question number six. This is very simple. That is add the following algebraic expression. So now you can see after this there is a comma. After this there is a comma. And here. So what you have to do. You have to in place of this comma you have to just put an addition sign. And here we will put it, this in a bracket. Again after, here you will put an addition sign. Put this in a bracket. Again here just put a bracket. So now we are going to remove the bracket. So because this is addition, nothing is going to change. Only the brackets will be removed. So this is the step without a bracket. And now we, we can what we can do this a plus a and this minus a will get cut. Minus b plus b will get cut. Minus c plus c will get cut. Now let, let us see what remains. Plus a b plus b c and plus a c. So that is here. So this is the answer. Now same over here. In place of these commas, you are going to put a plus sign and these brackets. Then you are in this step, you are going to remove the brackets. So now you can cut here. So what remains here? That is minus pq plus 2qp this is 9, 19 p square minus 2 square and this is 13 pq so now you can see here sorry here yeah, this will be q square 3 q square this is here and then 7 q square this we will take again here we have q square is minus 2 q, q square so this will take together then what we can see here is 19 p square that is just alone and then you will take a minus pq then plus 2 qp qp and pq is the same because this is a multiplication you can also write this as pq so this you will take together and here pq this together so now what are you going to do this will be 10 min minus 2 so that will be plus 8 q square so this only i wrote here 19 p, q, p square and here minus 1 plus 2 minus 13 so that is going to be minus 12 pq so this is together so you can put either because here p p this i put it p and then this is q so i put here p square first and then here q square it can be any means and here this is minus 12 pq so now again here in place of this comma you are going to put a plus sign and then you are going to put a bracket in this step remove the brackets bring the like terms together this is 5a square minus 3a square minus 11a square. So these are the together. So now here we will put here b's. All b's. Three, minus 3b square plus 16b square and minus 9b square. This is here. So now first we will see here 5 minus 3 means 2 plus 2 minus 11. So that is going to be minus 9a square minus 3 this minus 9 is going to be minus 12 minus 12 plus 16 that is going to be plus 4 and that is b square now again in this place of this commas you are going to put a plus sign put the brackets here you are going to remove the brackets because it is a plus sign nothing changes so now you are going to bring the like terms together this is x square this also is x square and this also is x square so this together now you will bring this y together this y this y and this one this is here so now first thing what are you going to do you can see here 
the denominators are different two four and four so the lcm is going to be four so what you will do here here you need two extra so this is multiplied by two so this also should be multiplied by two five twos are ten ten x square minus eleven because your four is already there plus three x square all the x square and divided by four because four is the lcm this is for this part and then now you will see for this one again here the denominators are different so here 5 here 10 and 2 so lcm is going to be 10 so here you need 2 here this already 10 so here you need 5 so what will you get is 6y minus 13y minus 5y this is here so divided by 10 so now first thing you will take this together so 10 minus 11 plus 3 so that is going to be 2x squared divided by this 4. Now you will see for this one minus 6 minus 13 minus 5 that is going to be minus 24y divided by, by this 10. So now you can simplify these two ones are two twos are two twelves are and two fives are. So we can write here one, one by two x squared minus 12 by 5y. So this is the answer. Now again here we are going to add it put a plus sign, remove the brackets in this step, bring the like terms together. So this is mn, this also is mn, and this also is mn. So this is together. Again now, this two m and this one, this is together. So now you are going to add this one, this, this, and this one. So you get 21.05. And minus 9.85 plus 1.63 minus 7 that is going to be minus 14.62 that is n this is the answer again here you will put the commas put the addition sign put the brackets remove the brackets here there are in x y z nothing is common that is only once but now you can see the constant this will bring it together so this is the same but now what you can see minus 7 plus 15 minus 8 that is going to be minus 15 plus 15 that is going to be 0 so only this part is left now here subtract the following so whenever now see here 16 p square cube from minus 11 cube p square so wherever where this word is used from after that whatever the number is that should be at the start and then you are going to subtract this number from that one so now cube p square and p q uh, p square q both are the same so what will you do minus 11 minus 16 that is going to be minus 27 p square q again from here uh, this from here this should be at the first and then you are going to subtract this part so now here there are two terms so we are going to use the bracket because this is minus so if there uh, there's minus here and there are more than one term so we are going to put a bracket so this will be the same minus 25 abc minus 16 a cube now let us see the like terms together bca and abc both are the same so this will be together and this a cube this is going to be together so what will be that here minus 15 minus 25 means minus 40 abc and this when you add minus 35 minus 16 that is going to be minus 51 a cube again here from means this part is going to be here and then you are going to subtract this one again here there are three terms so you are going to put a bracket so this first you will write it over here minus and then you are going to remove this one so that is going to be minus 126 plus 11 minus 15 x so now you are going to bring the like terms together x squared x squared this is together now your x cube and x cube this is together then what we can see x and x this is together and this is alone so now the, uh, looking at the degree x4 i took it at the start then we'll go for the x cube x cube means 
this together when you add minus 3 minus 126 that is going to be minus 129 x cube then goes the x square you are going to add this one that is going to be 102 x square and here then last is when the x plus 5 minus 15 that is going to be minus 10 x now here from this one so this should be at the start and you are going to subtract this so put a bracket because there are two terms again this is the same minus 7 is a square this is going to be plus 3 a b so now 15 a cube this will be minus 7 a square minus 6 a b plus 3 a b so this will be minus 6 plus 3 that is going to be minus 3 a b what should be added to 23x square minus 11x square xy plus 15y square to get 22xy minus 3x square minus 5y square. So what should be added? So we can say let x be added. So now what are you going to do? To this one. So this will write this whole thing we are going to write here plus x because this should be added to this part. So plus x is equal to 2 get means is equal to this part. So now what will you do? x is here. So this is the right hand side. So this is together. Now if we take this whole part on the right hand side. So this will be minus and this whole is going to be in the bracket. So x is going to be this same, this same, this same. Minus 23x square minus minus plus 11xy. Minus and plus is minus 15 y square. Now so x will be this x y. Either you put one step or you can write directly 22 x y plus 11 x y means that is going to be 33 x y. Then we will look for x square. Minus 3 x square minus 23 x square means that is going to be minus 26 x square. And this is going to be minus 20 y square so this is the answer now here subtract the sum of this and this one from the sum of this and this one so now first what are we going to do we'll take the sum of we'll look at this part we'll take the sum of this part so this is taken so when you add this one you get this answer you can just have a check at it and then you will take the sum of this one, this and this part. So sum of this one. So what are you going to do now? You are going to subtract the sum of, from the sum of this one. So whatever from, from means this you will take at the start. And then you are going to subtract this one from this part. So this whole thing, is, it should be in a bracket. So now you are going to remove the bracket first. This all thing is going to be the same. Minus 9 NT minus 42 Q minus 6 P square Q. So this will be, now let us take the like terms together. Minus 20 minus 9. This is minus 20 minus 10. Then the Q is plus 24 minus 42. And then 7 cube p square minus 6 p square cube. So this is together. So when we add this one, that is going to be minus 29 p. Then minus 42 plus 24, that is going to be minus 18 q. And this will be plus 7 minus 6, that is going to be p square. So q p square and p q square. That is both are going to be the same. One did the places change. So plus 7 minus 6 is going to be 1, that is p square q. So this is the answer. Find the perimeter of a rectangle whose length is 7a minus 3b plus 2c and breadth is this one. So length is this and this is breadth. So we want the perimeter of a rectangle. The formula for perimeter of a rectangle that is twice length plus breadth. So you will write 2. In place of this length, you will write this whole part and this breadth you will write this whole part. So 2. Now what are we going to do? We will bring the like terms together. Then again this B and this B. This is together. 
this C and this C, this is together. So twice into 10A minus 3 plus 19 means that is going to be plus 16B. And this is going to be plus 2 minus 11, that is going to be minus 9C. So this is going to be 20A plus 32B. And this is going to be minus 18C. So this is the answer. Now here, find the third side of a triangle whose perimeter is 7x square plus 7x minus 7. And the two sides are 5x plus 56 and minus 16 x squared minus 3x minus 1. So what are you going to do first? Perimeter of a triangle means there are three sides in a triangle. So two sides are given. Any two sides, are, we don't know which sides are given, but the two sides are given and the third side is not given. And the perimeter is given. So one side is this one. The other side is this one. And third side, let us consider we can give anything. We can write it. So let us consider the third side as S. So perimeter of a triangle is sum of three sides. So that is going to be, so perimeter is given, this is the perimeter is equal to this one side, the other side, and the third side is S. So what are you going to do? This you will write it here. And here minus 5X minus 56 plus 16X square plus 3x plus 1 is equal to s. So here, 7x square plus 16x square together, this is going to be 7x minus 5x plus 3x, this is together, minus 7, minus 56, and plus 1. So that is s. So now what you will do here, this is going to be 23x square, this is going to be 5x and this is going to be, when you add this one, that will be minus 62 is equal to s. So the third side is this. So but we have completed today's work. You like and subscribe to my channel so you get a notification of the other parts. Thank you.